Hello. This is, <laughs> this is Ginger Snap, a conversation and a cookie with a creative mainer. This is episode 79. I'm here with Matt Guggenheim. Thank you so much for being here with us. And um, Thank you. you are a concert piano technician, which is a fancier way of saying piano tuner. <laughs> Piano yes. tuner. Yes. But because of that, you have gotten to meet and see and prepare pianos for like hundreds of incredibly well known and amazing mm, musicians. Yeah? N- maybe in, not hundreds, uh, but a lot. Just accept the hyperbole. Yeah. Well, More thousands, <laughs> uh, maybe. No, oh, no. Uh, just, a, yeah, I would say uh, 50 to 100 of, okay. of celebrities. Well, and, and anyway, you that's that must be really an artist of all sorts. Yeah. Country, pop, classical, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. jazz. Mm-hmm. Classical the most. Yeah. Yeah. Is it pretty satisfying to hear your your expertly tuned piano being played by Yeah, it's someone? pretty it's it's pretty awesome. <laughs> I do very much enjoy. Mm-hmm. Uh I enjoy the the quality of tone and the mm. sound and the, the the sound of the piano more so than the piece that's being played. Mm. The piece that's being played is is really great. Yeah. But uh, it's sort of like um, and I, but I'm listening to other things while mm. they're mm. playing. Mm-hmm. So that's um, that's fun. Do you have I, perfect I, pitch. No. No, I have good relative pitch. Uh-huh. But hey, have, uh, yeah. nobody needs more than that. It no, drives you insane, no. I would imagine. Yeah, I, don't <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, I, I believe it would probably just be a distracting thing to have perfect pitch mm-hmm. and be a piano mm-hmm. tuner. Oh, yeah. I think it would just sort of, you know, no, that's It'd not be right. A slow you know? ride to crazy town. Yeah. <laughs> And we we have enough crazy town going on as it is. So, so if you had to pick like the top two or three best piano, your favorite pianos uh, in, um, in Maine. Well, Yamaha is great because they're so consistent mm-hmm. and they don't act up. And what venues have Yamahas? Um, well, a lot of venues have Steinways, mm-hmm. so. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there, you know, churches, um, schools. Mm, you know, mm-hmm. you see a lot of Yamahas there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But the, in the concert venues, it's it's more uh, Steinways than mm-hmm, anything. But mm-hmm. um, like you know, Bay Chambers up in Rockport, they have both. They have yeah. Yamaha and Steinway. So that's kind of uh, you know that's fun mm-hmm. to to work with. But uh, and Steinways are like a thoroughbred horse, you know. You gotta really take care of them mm-hmm. all the time. You gotta stay with them. Mm-hmm. And I do enjoy working with them because I get to, you know, get my get put all my uh, my being into them. Mm-hmm. Versus mm-hmm. the Yamahas that are just sort of, you know, okay, let's go, mm-hmm. all set. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. How many how many jobs do you get a week? Like how often are you doing uh, this? Well. Concerts, uh, probably average, you know, I don't know, anywhere between one and three concerts a week. Uh And then, but there's residential churches, Mm -hmm. um, schools, Mm -hmm. you know, lots of tuning. So Mm -hmm. I I probably average probably 15 to 25 a week. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. It gets pretty busy. Yeah. That's a lot. Well, thank you for taking your time out to be with us here at Ginger Snap. Well, oh, I've been looking forward to this. I love these things. And I, I love oh, Ginger Snaps. Oh, I'm so glad. And ginger Snaps and Ginger Snap. <laughs> sure. Um, so you first came to Maine in 2003, I think. Is that right? Did I get That's it? correct. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And why? Yes, this July Fourth. Beautiful state. Thing, yeah. Um, Maine's a great state. I yeah. love it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a Jersey boy. Uh, I've been, I was born and raised in Jersey and came up here to New England in, uh, 93 and Massachusetts mm-hmm. and spent, um, I tuned all throughout, uh, Boston mm-hmm. and, uh, the, you know, greater Boston area mm-hmm. for, uh, 10 years and then moved up here and I've been here for about 14. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Well, and so, unless, I mean, unless I'm not supposed to say it, you do live in one of the prettiest parts of Maine. Booth Bay. Yeah. Yeah. Southport yeah. specifically. 
Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, Barter's yeah. Island. Barter's Island. See, Barter's I always Island. think of Barter's yeah. Island as part of Southport. No, it's not that far. no, it's oh, okay. Southport's at the very end. Oh, and okay. Barter's Island's up near the Botanical Gardens. Right, right, right. right. Okay, yeah. right. Yep. Yeah. Right. yeah, it's a it's a beautiful mm -hmm. uh, area. I love living uh, up here. But the you know the commute living in Maine it takes you an hour to just do anything. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm used to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you are too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I love yeah. it. You have to drive everywhere. Yeah. Okay, so Matt, do you know your first word, or if you don't, what do you think it may have been? Um, tune. 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 <laughs> tune. Really? Tune. That's ding, <laughs> ding, ding. That's impressive. No, uh, it's probably no. You know the word no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, my first word was cookie, and so Matt uh, did the honors. He brought these from. Um, I'm going to take a little part of each one. Go ahead. That's uh, <laughs> from the Rosemont. <laughs> ginger molasses. Ginger Rosemont. Molasses. Oh, the new Rosemont in. Uh, Which one? They just opened one, you know, on uh, Cottage Street mm -hmm. in South Portland as you come mm -hmm. into Cape Elizabeth oh, across perfect. the street from the cookie jar. <gasps> yeah. It's really? like they're diagonally, uh -oh. like, right in competition with. You're supposed the to have some thing. there, buddy. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. I've no raisin. It's kind of like my favorite these mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a good dipper. Time. Yeah, we got what's the the tea again? This is a rooibos. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. So thank you, Rosemary. Mm. Um, that's mm. good. That's good cookie, cookie makes the day better. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially like you know four o'clock. Mm-hmm. Three four o'clock mm -hmm. in the afternoon, you got to yeah. need your sugar fix. Wow. So. Did you have a car in your youth or your adolescence that was really cool? And if you could get it back, you would. Oh, if I can get it back. Mm -hmm. Well, my first car was a '71 Ford Maverick. Oh, a Maverick. And yeah. it was. Uh, it had no shock in the rear passenger side, so if you were driving down the road and you went to, you were going around a turn kind of fast, and there was a bump on that turn. You would end up in the passenger seat mm -hmm. as you're driving, because, <laughs> and you would hold it on with your left hand to, to stay uh, on the road. Yeah, it was mm. pretty amazing. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, and I got a, I had about nine people in that car at once. Oh, you know, and we got a ticket for having so many people in it. <laughs> so that was all right. But um, that I, outside of that, no, I wouldn't want that car back. Mm -hmm. No. It was just a. Um, yeah, I'm glad that car's out of my life. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good song. I'm so glad that car's out of my life. All right, are you a big reader? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay. I'd, magazines, uh, <laughs> newspaper. I, I'm, oh. I'm. It's got to be like about pianos. It's got to be something I'm really interested in. I'm, I was never one to just say, you know, oh, this, you know, Catcher in the Rye. And, oh, mm -hmm. you know, all these required reading in high school, you know, that, mm -hmm. you know, we, I, I got that done. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm just, no, I wish I, I'm sad to tell you that I'm not a big reader, but. If you had to recommend one book to me or to everyone out there, what would you recommend? Um, I read a book, uh, well, Piano on the Left Bank, something, uh. Another piano book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it was a guy from. Um, uh, yeah, there are a couple books that I, I've read mm -hmm. that I've enjoyed very much. Mm -hmm. But as far as like you know, they were not recently. Mm -hmm. Maybe a couple a couple years back, you know, five years ago or something. I picked up a book and got like halfway through and put the marker in there, and it's still on the bookshelf like five years later with the marker in it. Never finished it. <laughs> okay. So, I'm, uh, I'm a tuner, and I just tune pianos. <laughs> That's what I do. Okay, so moving on to yes. music. Um, and then I just put a big bite in my mouth. Um, is there an album that you listen to over and over and over again, or is there a song you come back to again and again? I'm an '80s guy. Mm -hmm. Bad Company. Mm. Uh, I listen to a lot of them. Uh, a lot of their tunes back in the day. Mm -hmm. 
Well, they're probably they're a seventies band, but they're when I was in in the eighties I listened to them all the time. Um I love jazz. Mm. Dave Brubeck. You know, just um Oscar Peterson. I love the way he plays on top of the beat. Mm. He's always just ahead of everything he plays. So and you drive a lot. You must listen to a lot of jazz when yeah, you're driving. Um, talk radio. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or nothing. Um, just nothing is nice. Something, yeah, nothing is mm -hmm. just, you know. I listen I just, to a lot of nothing in my car. Yeah, yeah. it's just it's really nice to just... a daydream type mm -hmm. of thing, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. well, I, I, I thoroughly enjoy uh, classical music while I'm driving. Mm -hmm. It's a, you know, chill. Yeah. And I went through some of my phase of listening to country and all that, but it's, you know, the rat race. <laughs> my, my Subaru has 317,000 miles on it. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. And it's a 2010. I drive about 37,000 wow. miles a year. Yeah. Wow. It, it's like amazing how much I drive. Oh, you're drifting off. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just in case I was out of the screen the whole show, <laughs> they were just listening. Just so you know, this has been uh, Matt Guggenheim. <laughs> oh, and I didn't realize you were, your head was getting hot. Okay, so if a movie was made about your life, what genre would it be? And who do you think they'd cast as you? Or who would you like to have them cast as you? That's maybe a bit. Um, it would be comedy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, comedy um, slash tragedy. <laughs> no, um, uh, it would, out funny and yeah, <laughs> it would probably be. Um, uh, yeah, it would be comedy, and it would be. Uh, and, and by the way, folks, she had sent me a list of everything. Uh, he didn't do his homework because he's not a reader. That, that I, <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> she sent me something like on all these questions. I'm like, what questions? It's like right before. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you talking about? Car? What? So. I'm so mean. <laughs> no, you did your job, right? Okay. Well, I just um, made it up. I mean, I didn't, you know. I think like a, a, a early 80s Bruce Willis comedy. Where, because he was losing his hair at the same time I was, and people are like, "Hey, you look like Bruce, Bruce Willis." I'm like, "No, I don't. I'm just losing my hair as well." So that's. Hey, are you related to the Guggenheim Museum? Guggenheim? We are. We are. That's um, my favorite museum ever. Mm. Your favorite what? Museum. Oh. <laughs> I think it's a movie. Yeah, I'm like, it's a Guggenheim movie. Yeah, the movie Guggenheim yet? Museum is my favorite movie. Ever. I, <laughs> These two are there, It's gone. That was so good, that cookie. What cookie? You <laughs> finished it. <laughs> the chewy, the, the, the uh, oatmeal chewy. Oh, yeah. No, oatmeal raisin. Yeah, I don't usually no, like sure. oatmeal raisin. Wow. You, wow. No, peanut butter? Mm, no. no. I didn't yeah. have that one. Okay. All right. So, um. So, did we figure out who? Yeah. Okay. Sort of like a, but there's someone else and I, ah, there's someone else you remind me of and I can't think who it is. <laughs> well, anyway. So, if someone out there in Etherland in Facebook land or YouTube land or Twitter land or wherever this goes, uh, wants to reach you, you're too busy, so forget it. <laughs> no, it's absolutely no, not. No, no, no. no. Okay. Uh, MattGuggenheim.com. It's a full Easy website. Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, what do you think about texting? Like, people have this I thing. love texting. Well, um, sometimes I, I'm not in the mood to get on the phone. No, it's sort of like the texting's replacing emails. People, like, all of a sudden, I get texts of, you know, um, my piano needs to be tuned, um, mm. the middle C and, and the C above, uh, and there's something oh, going okay. on, and, it, you know, and the, the F-sharp 3 is doing this, and I'm like, that's great. Uh, first, who is this? You know, it's yeah. just like, and then yeah, and it's like kind of gone ten thirty at night. You know, you just get oh, no. oh yeah, or Sunday afternoon, 
and it's like mm. these pop-up texts about people that just happen to have some free time late at night or on a Sunday, and they start playing, and they're like, oh, something's wrong, Matt. What's going Matt, on? Help me. You're like the... And I'm like, well, how about just throwing an email out? An ADHD key doctor. Yeah, so, but anyway, not that, you know, I don't turn away work, and I'm happy to okay, work so, on all your yeah. pianos, so. Uh, you know. But t texting is kind of replacing emails. So that's don't, my don't point. Don't text Matt. No, no, you can text <laughs> you know. Just during working hours. Uh, All right. Fun. Well, thank you so much for being Ginger Snap. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's good. I thank wanna, you. I want to send a little, I'm going to embarrass him, but I want to send a little shout out to our mutual friend, Ted Axelrod. Oh, yes. And that's Susan. How, and Susan, of course. Yes. And Because yes. that's, uh, well, Ted yes. first mentioned you to me. Yes, Ted. Uh, I think maybe a childhood even, friend. <laughs> a childlike friend? Childhood. I'm just kidding. Child, he is a childlike. Childlike, yes. And child, and Ted, yes. We love Ted. We love you, Ted. Yes, we love you, Ted. Anyway. And Susan. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So, thank you so much. Oh, and um, I'll be back in a couple me. of weeks. I be, I'm supposed to be back in a few weeks with Kenya Hall, who's a wonderful uh, soul singer. And uh, then we'll see where we go from there. Great. Okay. Thanks thank you so me. much. I'm Lisa Redfern. This has been Ginger Snap, a conversation in a cookie with the creative Mater. This is episode 79. <laughs> and this has been Ginger Snack.